If you want to conduct some event or any kind of webinar and that too for free, then this video is for you. Yes guys, Facebook allows us to conduct events and webinars on their Facebook platform. Whether it is online or offline, you can create and share with your friends and followers. Generally people create these kind of events to provide some knowledge to their audience or just to communicate with their audience. There can be a fixed agenda of that particular event or not. That's basically that depends on the event creator. So let's just understand how you can create these events or host these webinars on Facebook whether it is offline or online. So hey guys welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. This is the 46th video in this Facebook marketing course and in this video we are going to tell you about how to create events and webinars on Facebook page. So let's get into the video. So guys we are in the Facebook profile dashboard right now as you can see this is the timeline okay. Now in order to access Facebook events option we have to go to our page so switch to MF global which is our page in this account. Now as you can see this is our Facebook page profile and this is the timeline. Now in order to access the event option we have to click on this see all option. Once you click here you will see a short menu over here in this uh, in the left hand side corner. In the menu you have to scroll a little bit down below the professional tools you will be able to see the social option okay and in social option the first option is events just click on this and here are the events option all the options are here as you can see home hosting then attending birthday notification so let me explain you one by one so first option is home here it is saying that no events found but if you use your account properly and you have added some interest and already added some events which you have attended then you would be able to see some events over here that is to, uh, that will be according to your interest okay because I don't use this Facebook account that much that's why it is not showing some relevant events and if I click on these local maybe yes as you can see here I'm able to see some these are not relevant but yeah these are the events and these are totally local events maybe these are offline events I have to go to attend these events okay then if I click on this week then I'll be able to see all the events which will be conducted on this particular week then we have online option so uh, these are totally online events which I can attend online then following so if in following option I'll be able to see uh, the events from uh, my from the people whom I am following right but I am not following the uh, people who have conducted any event then the classes so this is totally educational option okay if you want to learn about something if you want to learn or attend about any particular topic then you can select this classes option and you'll be able to see uh, some educational events over here let me show you some chord release session practitioner class zoom so this will be conducted on zoom okay then relational awareness then we have a self mode maybe it is self motivation then we have virtual class washington real estate fair housing so these are some educational content as i've already told you in the top option i am not able to see any kind of relevant events because i don't use this account that much but I hope you got the point in the discover events option you will be able to see the events which are going to conduct few days right then in the hosting options hosting option I'll be able to see the events which I am hosting right now okay although I haven't hosted any event right now that's why it is totally blank but if I uh, want to create or I want to host any event I just have to create new event and I'll be able to host a event okay then we have this paid online event option as well i'll be telling you about these paid events in some another video but in this video i'll be telling you about the free method that how you can create a free event okay then we have attending in attending option uh, we have few more options under the attending section the first one is going so the events which are going on right now that will be shown on this particular option attending Okay, then we have invites if we have any invitation from any uh, particular event that will be shown here. Then the interested if I have shown interest any on any event that will be uh, that would be shown here. Let's say I go back to home and I click on local 
and my show interest select and relevant topic otherwise this will be a bit difficult for me okay so let me select this one digital impact okay so as you can see i have shown interest to this particular event and in the attending section in we have the interested option okay and if i click on this i would be able to see that particular event let me refresh it once so as you can see here in the interested section my one event whom i have shown interest is added and in the past events okay past events is also a uh, blank because i haven't attended any event in the past okay so in past uh, event options you will be able to see all the events you have attended in the past okay then birthdays option birthdays option is like uh, these are also kind of event for us right because this is our birthday and birthday is totally a uh, event an event for us that's why this is comes under uh, event option your birthdays i mean your birthday or your friends birthdays when your friends have birthday they will appear here that is also a event now i'm going to show you how you can create a free event on facebook okay whether you want to create an offline or whether you want to create an online event that is totally possible with the free option okay you just have to click on create new event i hope you are getting the point how you can create an uh, an event okay we are in the event section right now event menu events and you have to click on create new event once i click here you have to fill in all the details that would be needed to create a good uh, event page okay so first of all we have to add a cover photo so let me just add a dummy photo upload cover photo i have already downloaded one this is a demo image you can also set according to your preference you can drag the image okay like this and this so this would be perfect then you can name the event as well so let's say elegant event 2023 okay elegant event 2023 and now you have to add the date what is the start date of uh, the event okay so right now today is 20 20th of jan so let's add 25th of jan and the start time is 2 am let's make it pm 2 pm is perfect okay you can add the end date as well if you want let's add that as well the event is only for one day i mean two days and the end date will be 5 pm it's perfect now okay now there is the option is it in person or virtual so you have to select whether the event is in person or the virtual okay right now we are going with the virtual option in virtual option we have two three options extra like it is facebook live or whether it is an external link or any other way to connect or to conduct or to participate in the event right so if it is facebook live so just click on this and it will be automatically go live in the uh, given time and date okay but if it is external with uh, maybe you are using zoom or maybe you are using google meet so you can add that particular link here for example i am adding our website's link just for example copy and paste it so this is just for example you can add your external link if you have right then we have other option and this is include clear instruction in your event detail on how to participate if you select this you have to uh, include the clear instructions that how to participate in the event okay but right now we are going with the external link option okay now what are the details so here you can add some extra usps some extra benefits of attending your event and this will be shown in the event page and when your followers your friends see that particular event page they will be able to see the details as well they will be able to read those details and if it is appealing then they would definitely join your event right so you have to make it interesting and appealing and let me write a few lines i'm writing for just for example right now we have few more options over here the first one is market your event okay so in market your event we have to select the category so that facebook's ai can automatically show or suggest your event to other uh, audience in the facebook okay and this will be shown according to the category so this is our event is for craft only okay then there is one more option here hide this event from specific countries so if you want to hide this event from any particular country you can toggle this 
on and select the country but uh, let it be off right now okay then we have add co-host if i open this one so here you can add a co-host as well for example you are conducting this event with some another person as well or any other guy who who is your friend or who is your business partner okay and you want to add that particular person as a co-host in this event okay so you have to just add that friend's name or that friend's page so that uh, you can add them as a co-host so let me write rahul or i can write hitesh gupta or i can write marketing fundas okay so this is our main Facebook page, Marketing Fundas. So I have selected this one. And when the admins or the uh, moderators of this particular page accepts the invitation, then they would be added as a co-host in this particular event. Okay. Then we have repeat event option. Now here I have to add frequency. So uh, right now it is never, but if you want to add the frequency like daily or weekly, you can do that as well and just below this you can uh, add the end date and uh, end time as well okay let me close this one then communication settings we have few options over here the first one is show guest list so who is attending your event so if you want to show that to other audience then you can uh, turn this toggle on then we have only host can post in event so if you want that only the host can post to this event then you have to turn this toggle button on and at the end we have post must be approved by a host so if you turn this toggle on which means everyone can post but it should be approved by the host okay and at the end we have some frequently asked questions so you can add some asked questions related to the event okay well, let me cancel this one if you have any question you can add so after adding all the details you just have to click on create event and facebook will automatically create an event page for this particular event so it is creating right now as you can see and boom the facebook event page has been created now as you can see this is a full-fledged facebook event page people can visit this page and they can join the event or they can show interest to this event okay now here is one more option if you want to go with some paid methods so you can boost this event like just click and pay some cash and you can you will be able to boost this particular event let me go back so paid method is also there so that's how we create facebook events and webinars i hope you understood all the things all the main points of this video so in future, whenever you want to create event, you can refer to this video and make your event or webinar successful. So that's it for this video. I hope you like the video. If you do so, please hit that subscribe and like button. And if you still have any question or query, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.